Yo, what's up? I, I, I can hear you in stereo. I'm outside. Uh, more more. I'm coming in to pull up the garbage. Alright. Uh, you guys happy you ruined my shot? Damn, it's dusty as fuck. Oof. The seat post has ate itself in, so I cannot take it out. How long have you had that bike for? This one also, I think since like 2... 212. And you don't have any bikes before this one, still? Before that I had the... Um, Mountain bike? No, I had the Van Dessel, which got stolen. Oh, fuck. Actually in front of the place where the show is happening today, while we were rehearsing. Fuck. fuck. They, they, they sliced the chain. Damn. Damn, this reminds me I gotta fucking wipe it off. I'll bring you back, baby, for something. Oh my god. Oh, look who's up. Oh, what's up, Blue? Oh my god. Wow. Only I have to flush it now. <laughs> That's the only thing where he calls him. <laughs> He's like, hey, can you flush this? Are you hungry now? I'm like, it's my turn to eat, dude. One sec, bro. Not like, nothing like a warm Indian roti. Said the Russian guy. So I cannot forget about you, of course, bro. You, everyone's eating, you gotta eat too. Sit, sit, sit. Good boy. Broadway bomb from last year. From Crazy Nick that he printed out of two Polaroids and spliced them together. Oh, that's sick. Crazy Nick, good so job. So I bought, uh, bought his, from his uh, exhibition that he had two weeks ago. And you can see the bull is in the tarp during the pandemic. Oh, uh, yeah. You eating Brown. this. You eating this at least today. <laughs> the fuck is this? Pinecone jam? You see, people, people don't realize. You can make jam from everything. Not only from berries. You can make jam only also from pine cones. And this will be one of the prices for the premium Russian Elicat where you will receive a spoon full of pine cones. You just eat them? Yeah. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. It tastes just like a pine cone. <laughs> Although you never tried it. Tastes it tastes like Christmas. That's the official Soviet Soviet podstakanik. What do you usually put in there? Vodka. Um, <laughs> let me see. It has been a price stamp to it on it. Back in the days when it was Soviet Union, everything had the same price. Pretty much all things across the country, they would have a set price and the price would be ingrained in the products so nobody can make extra money out of it. First, we got a rehearsal mm -hmm. with the homies, with the whole band. First show since before the pandemic started <laughs> and, no uh, evil. yes it's pretty um pretty exciting in that regards and um we joining the forces during the show uh, with uh, two um hardcore punk bands um rebel matic and winter wolf uh, Rebel Matic been organizing these like shows throughout the pandemic outside on the street mm. in Brooklyn. I was born in a place that doesn't exist anymore. Yes. A country <laughs> that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> like this is pre-Russia, like Soviet Union. Yeah. I mean, it was Russia a hundred years ago. That's the motherfucker. Damn, in the Soviet Union? Look at that Soviet ass fit right there. Look at, I like the I one know. on the right, the polka dots. Yeah, I got the leopard. That shit is sick. Uh, fucking... Raka from Dilated Peoples. That's my boy Afra, who I was mad inspired in terms of beatboxing. 
Me going to see Karis One. Yo, here you go. I had to. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Poshul Nahu. 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 It's dope. See ya. Is that you, beast? <laughs> here we go. That's my Van Dessel in reverse. That's like the first track bike, yeah? Yep. Bizarre video, video shoot. That My Russian sick. people will know it. What that means. It's not Kakmapot. It's Kasmaport. <laughs> if uh, you would ever need to interact with cockroaches, they will take you as one of their own. Ben just hit me up. He said, I wish I could make to your show today. I understand Ben. Ben and Chris just did 300 miles in under 24 hours. You're forgiven, Ben and Chris. So where are we going to right now? Um, to complete rehearsing studios. How long did it take you to get comfortable riding around New York on a track bike? Uh, I mean, I was riding like, yeah, not on a track bike, but um, probably like a year, I'd say, six months maybe. I mean, because I wanted to, I wanted to reach a level of comfort where I can be like pushing it both yeah. to the wall. Because I remember I used to like just focus on the line and ride around the block and like try to stop. Like I'm just like, all right, that's the line. Try uh, to, yeah, try to come to a hard stop. Uh, yeah. I, di I didn't get out in the traffic first. Damn, they covered the cash four piece. See, you can see the CSH4. Damn, they went over it. But yeah, if you live in New York and you never saw a cash four piece, that means you don't live in, live in New York or you don't have eyes. I feel like uh, mes messenger and just like cycling in New York um, is for me like connected with graph riders in a way that you end up riding through spots every day and sometimes you take like you know some shady corners yep. and you see new pieces being up like new and new pieces something that you didn't see just yesterday or sometimes even like you, you rode past there today, earlier, and you rolled there again in this corner and there'd be like someone's piece. Back in the days, yo, when New York used to be grimy, son. You just come out on the street and people snuff you right away. Boom, boom. Now everybody's sensitive and shit. Nah, New York never left. It's always like that, but it used to be way more grimy. It's the funny thing that for me as a, as a person who is not from here, as a Russian dude, experiencing New York change over and over since I've been here, since early 2000s, New York is always like a wound. You rip up the bandage. Ugh. Ugh. New York is never clean and shiny. The clean and shiny has nothing to do with that. That's only packaging. Uh, buddy, they got you. Always feel bad when I see rats that've been run over by cars. Rats are some of the most smart species on the planet in terms of survival. They don't care what you think about them. We as humans made this opinion on them. Rats. E. Ugh. A rat is like, what are you talking about? That's me, motherfucker. I ain't no uh, I'm just a rat. I'm surviving and fuck y'all. That's what the rat does. <coughs> Shout out to the rats. Эти ребята ведут себя неправильно, блядь. Блядь. Всех арестовать нахуй, блядь. 
всех нахуй законы, блядь, удраконить, нахуй, всех посадить, кто не согласен, блядь, нахуй. Pretty much like that. Escape your communities. Escape them as much as you can. Nature flourishes from being different and connecting different things. Same into same into same. Smells, smells like what? Incest. Exactly. Earlier, earlier than expected. Look at that. Crushes earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Did you play an yeah, I got a band and shit. Yeah. What y'all doing? We're we playing today at 2 p.m. in Bushwick outside. It's like like New York, New York hardcore, like New York hardcore punk. I mean, I, I do like hip, like hip hop, rock shit. You know, like like Jimi Hendrix and and Biggie linked up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been for 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 a minute. I mean, the band was like maybe like ten years already. Working, man. You know, man, working on it. He never gave. He hasn't given up, though. He hasn't given up. Like just like you. Yeah. Yeah. I give you some stickers. Crusher. You see? Russia, like straight from Russia. Yeah, Yo, from he's Russia. Right from Russia. Straight from Russia, we doing it, man. The band is banging. Come see it. Come you know it. Alive today in Bushman. You know it. <laughs> you yeah, coming you through or what? Yeah, I'm going to come through there. I'm going to bring them. All right. I'm going to listen to how good Russia is. All right. You over here doing a video and you suck. I'm going to have to tell you, man. You know, it's that's straight up, man. Yo, let them know. We, we keep it straight, man. You get time. You got to go back to that academy and practice. I know. That's why, <laughs> that's that's why I have drummers like oh, that. Who rock out? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he got his whole drum set in here. The whole drum set is right here, bro. I've paid people for that shit, man. Yeah. yeah. We, we met at a jazz club. Yeah, sitting in the jazz club. What jazz club? 55 Bar. The funk, funk jazz club. In, yeah. in West Shadow Village? Oh, yeah. I remember you know, 55 place. on yeah. Christopher Street, right before 7th yeah. Avenue, like tiny one? Yeah. This is New York. Brooklyn. You gotta love it. If you don't know where to go right now, Google that shit. Google that shit. If you wanna... Know what Crusher Dower is? Google that shit. Google that shit. I got the new hit, bitches. <laughs> if you know, want to know what type of bike it is, Google that shit. Google that shit. If you want another bike check, Google, Google that, that shit. shit. Google that shit. If you want to know where the hole is here, Google that shit. Hole Google that is shit. Here? <laughs> As long as aqua is there, it will be good. One bag of water? No. Okay. 
I got some extra waters and shit. I mean, I just, you still, you still want to drink and shit. Let's get rid of it. Hell yeah. This guy been on the streets. When, when we meet, met like 16 years ago, he was on the street every day, like daily. Motherfuckers talking about hustling music. Yeah. He was like every day. Yeah, yeah. Virgin Mega Store, 42nd Street, when it still used to be here. Yeah. There. No, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> Virgin, Virgin on 14, Virgin on 14, 8th Street. Street. Street, Tower Records, yeah. Fat Beats, yeah. All Day, Grace Papaya. Oh, shit. That's my wife. Okay, I was like, what's going on? Who is she? Hey. <laughs> That's creature, Aisha. She whispers from the darkness. Why don't you count on me?